Welcome to Modular Classroom. In this video, we are going to see how to design an e-content using Android smartphone. So you have to install an Office application from your Google Play Store. The Office application may be Office or WPS Office or just PowerPoint. Anything must have been installed on your mobile. So I have installed Office application. I am opening that application now and I'm clicking this plus button to create a new presentation so after that I have to choose documents from this I have to I can choose create from template also so that variety of templates available or first I can design by using a simple blank presentation so the presentation now gets open here as a message displays double tap to add title I can able to double touch that and I can give the title so I'm going to design an e-content on the topic database so I'm giving the title as databases and uh, the subtitle I can add my name my designation my institution name etc and after this plus symbol I can able to insert a new slide you can see the plus symbol on the right top right corner down bottom right corner so that you can insert a new slide here I can give the introduction about database so Again, I'm double tapping it and typing the title as introduction. I'm now going to enter the content. So I'm giving the content as data. I'm using the bulleted list. So after entering the pointer, it will make me to the next bulleted point. I'm giving an indentation here to go to the sub bullet point. So data means they're called as raw facts. I'm, again, I'm entering and giving before indentation. Here I am giving as what is meant by information. Again I am indenting it. I am saying it is processed data. Sorry. Processed <coughs> data. And what is meant by database. I am saying it is storage of information. Again, I'm entering, giving indentation. I'm speaking about what is meant by DBMS. Giving enter, write indentation, saying here as software package. Deal, deals database. Likewise, I have prepared the content to the second slide. And in the slide, I can also add image. Uh, shapes etc so in the third slide I'm going to add image as you can see in the down uh, bottom line fourth icon displays the to insert an image so I'm clicking this fourth and I'm choosing the image that is available from my uh, mobile I can choose to file manager from pictures I can choose the downloaded image I can choose one image and I can click done here you see in the to top corner you can if you want you can crop or you can fil apply filter everything you need you can adjust here itself and I'm clicking done this image has been inserted into this slide I'm giving the title as structure of the database since this diagram shows me about the structure of database uh, so two slides I have three slides I have been designed first one is a title second one is some text content third one with a diagram fourth one we can see the demo by inserting you can if you want you can insert the table you can insert row wise column wise data and here also you can I'm also able to insert sorry uh, if you want shapes you can also insert like this square oval anything you can insert that also you can able to choose some font some styles etc so preparing based on your e-content you can choose any option from the available office application uh, so this is the fourth slide it's just a simple demo purpose i'm not going to give do nothing in this slide so come back again to the first slide here we are going to enhance this content by choosing other font for that i have to go to home so i'm choosing home here I am choosing the font or whatever font I need. I can use anything. I am giving bold. I can change colors also. I have changed the color. So font color has been available so I am doing that. And for this also 
I can do so select it double tap to select and come on to this font color choose in any color you need and again choose this text fully if you double tap two blue color cursor pointers blink you just adjust it and select it choose the color whatever you need click bold and you can choose other fonts also and you can increase the font size here I am giving 28 or 32 it should be visible that's a concept okay now we have designed with one colors with the font now we will move on to the uh, choosing the design of the date uh, we can alter the design of the database we will see how we are going to design on minute I'll uh, give the color for the structure of the database also I can change the font also here okay now again press this arrow mark you can get this home here you can choose the design option various themes will be available you can choose from this available theme as you have already shown on the desktop application PowerPoint the same themes will apply here since it is the same application that has been designed for Android smartphones so I am choosing the wood type design that has been applied here to this presentation what I have designed and see as you saw that has been applied you can also change the particular design so again you go choose design choose the themes you can choose any color since I have choose the dark color for the font I am choosing the my theme as light color that's the difference nothing other than that so I am choosing this gallery see this is my first slide this is my second slide so here what I have to do is since it goes down I have to increase my font size none other than that or I can take this to like this area like this you can adjust your e-content over there this shows your diagram the next point is we have to design about giving transitions or animations so I am choosing the transition so for this third diagram you can see there will be available three effects I am choosing entrance effects and you can give any effect you want see now I am giving stretch so this diagram gives you the stretch effect and this text choose this text from the first then choose entrance effect you can choose any of the effect as I already said whatever the effect you like you can give I'm giving rise up and after that an important concept is in the effect options property you give an uh, sequences by paragraph so that one by one animation will be displayed and that after that go to animations completed now we will go to transition you see the transition effect and you can choose anything say I am using drop anything you can choose whatever you like you can choose and after that you have to important point is you have to give uh, after choosing the transition effect you have to give apply to all so that it will be applied to all now we will we'll run the particular presentation what we design of before that you have to give us save that and click this play button so it will the play, PowerPoint will run see how the drapping uh, transition effect has been applied it gives your database title just give a scroll over the right you will get the next slide see one by one the point bulleted points get text this is because by choosing effect options property don't forget that by to choose effect option property if you are using a bulleted list so that one by one the particular text will be displayed in the animation effect next comes the diagram 
as I have given the stretch effect it is stretching and this paint the diagram and the next slide is we have not done any effect or any text over here one table and one shape if your content require a table structure or a shape structure you can use for designing purpose this is the method of designing an e-content using an android smartphone if we have not laptop or desktop facility available at the at the right time so you can use our smartphone as a system and we can design an e-content in the powerpoint like this thanks for watching